Oh God, this stinks. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today I have for you guys another edition of Ball Spinations and today I'm gonna talk about the difference between the dry lane ball and the urethane ball. Uh, as a pro shop owner, we get this question a lot. People come in, lanes dry up for them, especially here in Columbus, there's a lot of friction at a lot of these bowling centers. They say, hey, I think I need a urethane ball for when these lanes dry up game two, game three. For some people that may be the case, for most, it probably isn't the correct answer and I'm gonna show you why. Alrighty, first of all, thank you to the wonderful people at the Columbus Square Bowling Palace for letting us use their lanes. We have here a perfect example. We have a 32 foot short pattern on the right lane, and then we're gonna hop on over to the left lane where there's just their typical house shop. So um, typically short pattern, 32 feet, pulling out urethane. So here I've got a fast pitch, and the reason is because urethanes typically want to read very early. They want to read the front part of the lane, and on short patterns, that's where the concentration of the oil is. So I'm gonna throw one here for you. And then I'm gonna go to the Electrify, which is my dry lane ball that I have with me and look like a fool. So um, 32 feet, they're hooking a good amount. So we're looking for this to blend out that friction a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty close. Um, that was the third shot that I've thrown in this lane. So considering I hit the one three, not bad, but I'm gonna stand on that same spot. I'm gonna go to the Electrify, which if you don't know, is a very low end piece, um, has pretty much our weakest cover stock on it and a not incredibly strong core. I gotta shoot the spare first. Hook about your spares. You could expect more or less the same thing that's gonna happen on the uh, the real strike shot I throw, but 32 feet of oil, that means there's 28 feet of friction. And a ball like the Electrify, not particularly designed to read the front part of the lane. So I'm just gonna throw it and stay in the same spot, hopefully throw it in the same spot. I just don't see how this strikes. Yeah, it's just saving so much energy through the front part of the lane that it has all 28 feet to use all of that energy and go left. So typically, like I said, not what I would throw on a uh, short pattern. So I guess I'll throw one more with the urethane ball. Why not? Getting a little warmed up. The more I keep blabbing on, the more I get warmed up. So this should strike. Same spot. Yeah, it's pretty much the difference. It's using more energy in the oil. So it, it plaque 10 because it just kind of ran out of gas and using a little bit too much angle. So I'm gonna hop over to the house shot lane and kind of show you the flip flop opposite. So here I'm gonna start with the Electrify, which is the one that should look quite a bit better. And it's because house shots are kind of designed for your ball to, they're, they're gonna be a little longer typically than 32 feet. So the reactive balls will tend to look a little bit better because they're saving more energy and using it all for the back part of the lane. And they're typically built to where they kind of taper. They're kind of more well on the front than they taper down as you read the lane front to back. So this ball will slow down much better than it did on 32 feet. I don't know where this is going, but I'm gonna throw it. As you can see, a much more tame reaction. The ball is getting through the front part of the lane nicely, but still slowing down because the lane pattern is kind of built like that. So on the flip side, if we go to the urethane ball, should I stay in the same spot? So I'm gonna stay in the same spot again, just like I did on the 32 footer. And uh, this has a negative 70% chance of striking. Yeah. It could back the one, two, four. That's the only prayer we got, but as you can see, it's using just way more energy in the front part of the lane. 
and it's just got nothing in the back part of the lane. So I'm not saying that everyone who comes in and asks for a urethane ball for dry lanes, I'm not saying that they're wrong, but in most cases, unless you throw the ball incredibly slow, you know, you're super rev dominant maybe, you know, for those kind of people, urethane balls on house shots could be the answer. Uh, but for 95% of people, I would say, urethane's probably not what you're looking for. It's all about reading the lane front to back. House shots will give you a little bit of help. Just like I said, just the way the patterns are built. They're uh, typically built for you to throw many strikes with whatever ball you want to throw. So if we're reading the lane front to back, we're thinking about what these balls want to do. Like I said, this ball is designed to slide through the front part of the lane. So when there's less oil, you know, come your middle of game two, game three of league, where there's eight or 10 people bowling, oil's gonna start disappearing from the front part of the lane. So you're gonna wanna go to a cleaner surface rather than a surface like a urethane ball that's gonna hook earlier. So if you think about it in that respect, that is why we would typically choose balls like this at the end of your league session. I'm gonna show you one more. And I don't know what I planned for after the shot. <laughs> a little moonwalker. Yeah, I mean, same exact spot as the, the fast pitch and it's kind of getting through the front part of the lane the same way, but visually you can't see it, but the fast pitch is using much more energy in the front part of the lane. Electrifier retaining, and that's why it hooks down lane and the fast pitch hits the three six pocket. Should I do anything else? That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that is another edition of Ball Splanations dry lane balls versus urethane balls. Go in and see your local Storm VIP Pro Shop or come to TV Bowling Supply here in Columbus, Ohio. Come see us and we can talk about it as well. Make sure to check out our Instagram page. Go hit that follow button. We are gonna have some holiday sales coming up for you. So be sure to be on the lookout. And if you're interested and you're not in the area, just send us a message and we can get you all together. What's up guys? Sorry to interrupt this video, but we got new merch. We got the holiday drop on BoldDMC.com. We got, was it five new pieces, I think? Is that right, Mike? Five new pieces. We got this sweatshirt here. We got a shirt underneath as well. It's, a, it's got some little Christmas lights on it, if you can see there. Uh, we got another one of this, just in a plain shirt. We got a long sleeve shirt. We got it all. So go ahead and check out BoldDMC.com. Uh, taking pre-orders now. Everything's gonna be shipping out on December 1st. So that link will be down in the description below. Back to the video. And we will see you in the next video. See ya.